All right, 16th Miracles Christmas Parade back with you. Thank you to our friends at T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks also to our friends right here, you know, with us here on the, on the desk, at uh, this uh, great bouquet of flowers, uh, the Christmas uh, setting. Our friends at Marble and Company putting that it's together. It's beautiful. We want to thank Kelly for job. he and his staff for, for doing such a beautiful job. Unbelievable. All you right, need a centerpiece for the holidays. Yeah, Kelly. give gotcha. them a call. Yep. Okay, here's the Contra School. This is the Contra Cardinal. That's their mascot. They are a no homework school. Okay, what? don't tell all the kids that who are listening. Let's plug your ears. <laughs> no yep. homework school, a private school, but they are free. I think this is their first year. They said it's the first school of its kind yeah. like this in the state of Texas, sort of testing it out and trailblazing here in Lowell. Yeah, Lowe. and I love the Contra Cardinal. Rolls off your tongue really nice, which is great. Okay, let's go down to Shelby, who's met some more friends out there. I'm over here with Cambry and Kate. Are you guys excited for Santa Claus to come? Um, I want a present. Oh, you want a present? What do you want for Christmas? No, a present. Present. You want a present? That's a good one. And then I heard over here that we want a brownie. I mean, I want a brownie right now. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And Beaver says she wants a bucket. There you go. There you have it. Back to you, Lauren and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't. I don't know if Santa's passing out any presents tonight. He's got to go back to the North Pole and get busy. He has a busy night coming up very always, soon. Always, always great that he can take the time out to hang I out know. with us on the Miracles Parade, even though it's the biz busiest time of year, trying to get everything coordinated for, for that Christmas Eve flight that we'll have again this year. Mm -hmm. So, Santa is on his way. Yeah. But first... A lot of kids are excited about that. First, Mine our friends... Included. at a, Yeah, at Affordable Movie. Yeah, look at that light. Those are. I wonder how many lights are on that float. They said over 6,000 multicolored 6, Christmas lights, lights are completely wrapping around their float. Wow. That is a serious effort right there. That yeah. is. That's what a lighted parade needs, someone that will right. put 6,000 lights. Mm -hmm. They basically said they wanted a big snow globe as their front, so here it is. Well, they've done a great job. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I nominate them for an award. Okay. I don't know what the judges are going to do. No. The, the Clark Griswold Memorial Award <laughs> goes to our friends with the Florida movie for sure. Love They've been it. serving Lubbock in Texas cities for over 30 years. Also help out in a lot of community events as well. Toys for Tots, Ronald McDonald House, Meals on Wheels, all organizations that are near and dear to our hearts here at KMAC News. Mm -hmm. Hello. You guys did great. And it's world, you know, our theme is World of Snow. Ah. And I think with all of their lights... They're beautiful colored lights, but if they were all white, that's what that would look like as a big block of snow and ice, wouldn't yeah. it? Oh, Frosty would. seal of approval there at the end, yes, too. Yes, absolutely. And, the, and even the Grinch there as well coming up here. Oh, yeah, I see the Grinch. He's coming up. Now, hopefully the Grinches are going to try to steal Christmas from all of us, though, here. Not the new and improved Grinch. Okay, that's heart, true. Heart his has heart, grown three sizes. That's true. We like that. Okay. As long as his heart is full, that is what that is what is important. This is... The Brookdale Remington Park, driving their bus down there with the Grinch right by their side. This is the largest senior living in the nation. And all the staff, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not in there, but all the staff is dressed in all different ugly Christmas sweaters, which <laughs> I just think that tradition needs to continue on and on and on because it is so much fun. I'm familiar with Brookdale. My mom, before she passed away, spent uh, some wonderful days and weeks there. Is that right? They do a great job. They sure do. And they have three locations in Lubbock, help with assisted living, independent living, and memory care. Hey, there's the Perez Mendez family once again. They, we've seen them before. You don't often see a motorcycle pulling a Christmas sled, but here we've got it. Ninth <laughs> time that the family has come out and hung out with us here in the parade. This is their ninth year. You might have mentioned that, Brian. I yeah. didn't hear you, but you might have mentioned that. Nine well, years. It's been so here a long, fun. long time. Many years. The motorcycles get a little loud. We have nine years. And, you know, they, they spend all, they, they built this themselves. A lot of hours welding the frame and getting the wood just right and painting it all up and decorating it all up. And so we are more than happy to once again welcome them back here. Yeah. I love, too, that it's a family affair for them. Yeah. They, they look forward to it every single year. The family grows with the grandkids now. So more and more people get to join in on the fun. And that's what this is all about, just getting the family out, a family tradition. And the party barge is back, with to, courtesy of our good friends with Performance Motor Coaches. Not lake weather right now. Not right now. Not right now, but 
it's always a good time to get the boat out, right? It is, especially if it's lit up like that with Rudolph pulling it. Looks great. That yep, is, there's our mechanical Rudolph. We right saw there. the Rudolph RB, they were meant to use it last year. But they, they sold it, but then they bought it back so they could Just have this and pull today. in the boat. Oh, I Isn't love that. Great? that. Those are that great people good. out there on the south side of Wolford. You need to drive out there some oh, weekend yeah. and look things over because uh, they have a Oh, you going to do something different next year? Okay, oh. well, okay. You, know, you could tie another trailer back there and Can't have more wait rides. To you see know. That. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody skiing behind the thing. Oh, good there we idea. Go. We got it. That's a great idea. I love that. They're looking for buyers for those products, by the way. I don't know if we made that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a fun thing because during the Isn't 4th of July something? parade, we got to be up there on the party boat, and it Spike? was so much fun. Spike, can you tell me what, uh, what kind of car this is? What kind of what? What kind of car this is. Oh, oh I'm Lincoln. glad you that's asked a, Spike, a, not listen, me. Listen, that's, a, that's, old, that's not as old as me, but that's a Lincoln Continental. 1967. Yeah. It is older than me, but only slightly. Yeah, yeah. 67. Wow. 1967. I, I, was one of those things. I want to tell you, that is a very, very unique and costly vehicle. A Thanks. 67 Lincoln Continental. We're very isn't lucky to have that, it in the parade. Isn't awesome. that Caleb beautiful? Caleb Aldridge driving isn't that car that right there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness I gracious. Know. Looks like the day That's it Caleb drove Baldridge. off the lot. <laughs> it does. Caleb, I'm glad you brought your car, son. Thank you so much. The Dwelling Place Church is a new church plant, plant here, right here in Lubbock. They're looking to make a difference in Lubbock. So they said, you know what? Let's all get together and have some fun and come out and hang out at the parade. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, a lot of people out there on their, their trailers waving to the crowd, saying hi, dressed in all their Christmas gear. They, uh, looking they, great. They use some churchy terminology for oh, yeah? their description. They said they're a church plant. Does that mean it's going to grow and we need to water it? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. A little different kind of style. And that's a good point to make, though, Spike, is that, you know, if, if you're watching this and you, you have a group or a company or a business or a church or whatever, a family affair, you want to come out and be a part of it, you can be a part of this. You need to plan on yes. it. Yes. We have people every year, and I had a guy out here this afternoon when we were setting up. He came and says, I didn't know there was a parade. And I said, sir, do I need to whip you right now? You know? <laughs> I said, we've been talking about this for weeks. But uh, he said, well, you know, I, I guess I just missed it. Yeah. So we do think uh, that it's important for you to realize that. Hello. That, uh, I drove one of those on the farm. Don't ruin the engine. I, Change the oil every weekend. I think okay. they I think they have jazzed this thing up. This is the... the uh, the Bizio Trucking Group, mm -hmm. and, yep. and they, this is what what they do. Enrique was probably in that pickup gun. Yeah, course. what they do is that you know they they just love to do this kind of stuff, and they customize these trucks. Like customized this. trucks. Wow. Mine was customized with mud during irrigation season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and bald tires after trying to run into the tires, out of there. But you know what? We should have kept great. all those trucks. I know it. I yeah. know it. Yeah. Then you could have been in the parade. And we could have given it. We could have given it to these folks, and and the folks with Vizio, they would have taken care of it. These are their customizations. Wow. Yes. Yes. Awesome. You guys are looking great. They look like they're interested in uh, customizing more. So maybe you ought to get in touch with these guys. Maybe yeah. so. Find out more about what they do in their hobby. Yeah. Very fun. Vizio trucking. Yeah, thank you, Enrique More, for joining the parade. And that's something, too, Spike. It's not just, I feel like it starts for 2022 parade is going to start right after this is We're over. We're going to have a meeting. All of the Wranglers that are helping coordinate this up and down the road tonight will be taking the barricades off. We'll do some work for a couple of hours when the parade's over. And then we're all going to gather and have a meal together. Yes. And we'll start talking about what went wrong, what can we do to make it better. Yeah. And what makes it better is for us to have more than 40 units. We have 40 this year, mm -hmm. and that's a beautiful parade. But as Brian said, if you have a business or nonprofit group, a church, a youth group, or what have you, 4 hers used to have a deal. Uh -huh. FFA used to have a deal in here. It, it's just every year something different. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, you can be in it. It's just that simple. Yeah, definitely. Because you can see the smiles on the everybody's face in the crowd and also in the in the parade. All right, let's go out to Shelby, who joins us down on 34th Street. Street. I've made some more friends, are we shocked? I'm here with Carter, Mary Taylor, and Tillman, and this is just getting us all in the spirit. So what's your favorite Christmas movie? The Polar Express. Polar Express. The Polar Express. Polar Express. The Grinch. And The Grinch. We saw a Grinch.
picked earlier too, didn't we? Those are some good picks. I'll send it back to you, Lauren and Brian. All right, Shelby, thank you so much. Okay, more awesome cars. Honorable Auto Sales opened in 2018. They just opened up their second location in November of this year. They're on 82nd Street and Avenue Q. So go check them out. Honorable Auto Sales. <coughs> I think I need to add that into my car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I can save, leave the driveway. Save me some of that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, passing out candy to the kids. Hey, I think that's probably one of the most fun things other than Santa, I think, for the kids here. Big group of kids here right here where we are near Flint, near Flint. And and they're all looking for all the, the folks who are coming down here with the buckets. They see the buckets in hand and they're like, oh, <laughs> please walk over this way yes. and throw some candy. And that's what there you go. Right there. Then you get some candy. I don't, nobody threw us any candy. I know, they yet, never right? do. Why not? Maybe we just need to stick our hands out a little further. I think so. <laughs> all right, they're going to come start walking this way this is the vfw truck and we're going to see them in just a second you know what the vfw is vfw tell me it is a an organization that's made up of combat veterans mm -hmm. and their families and they advocate for all veterans and their families and certainly we appreciate <laughs> our veterans and it seems like in the world we live in today we think more about our military and our police and our firemen but we really need to remember the veterans, those that have served and still have that deep seated, deep, deep pride and and uh, patriotic blood running through their veins. They really, really And we do. need to acknowledge and remember them and keep them uh, in our in our thoughts and prayers all the time for their health and safety. Not just on certain holidays, but every day for all sure. All the time. Yep. Miracles Christmas Parade continues in just a moment. <laughs> 